Greetings YouTube and welcome to the blue corner and to another card for a market watch. So in this one I'm going to be doing a couple things on a checklist. One, we've got an announcement for set 12. So I'm going to take a look at a couple cards from the clans featured in there. And secondly, I want to take a look at a card that got bought out a week ago. And thirdly, one of my friends actually suggested me a couple of things to look at. So we're going to take a do so. And that being said, if you have suggestions for cards for me to look at that are not on here, then please comment down below and I will take a look at them. And if it really is something that I have to, that I feel needs to be talked about, I will. So that being said, let's get started. And we're going to begin with Eclipse Charcoal, uh, Eclipse Star Vader Charcoal. It's a common from set 17. And before it got bought out, it was retailing for about $6. Let's try and digest that. A $6 common. Meanwhile, Chappie to Ghosty is like an $8 rare. Okay, so this one actually makes sense as it's the Lunar Break Remover for Link Joker and Chaos Breaker Dragon is kind of really good right now. So it makes sense that a card from way back when would actually be out of stock. And on eBay, I was able to find two listings and yeah. That was really it, and they're also at the five and a half to six dollar mark. So, if you've got these sitting around, which you may have, because how many people bought boxes of set 17 looking for Kagero? Chances are you've got a pile of these lying around somewhere. If you want to make a quick couple of dollars, go ahead and list these. You can list them for just about anything, and they'll probably just sell like that. As you can tell by TCG Player, people are thirsty for this thing, so go ahead and do that. Next up, I just want to take a look over at the Numatama stuff like once again because new set coming out, Numa's being hype, plus certain cards are getting reprinted. Now, now Sukumura Khan is between $50 to $70, I believe. Where did I find this stuff here? There we go. Okay. Yeah, Shiranui is 30 on eBay. Like Again, I'll be going between TCG Player and eBay because sometimes you can just get good prices for them, sometimes not so sure no is about the same across both his reprints in the new set and it's also probably going to be cheap i i do think it's going to be ten dollars same for his crit trigger a toggle lord is still 44 dollars for whatever reason despite the fact that it sees almost no play and dominate decks and i don't honestly think it will especially considering that nubas are confirmed for set 12 and we're going to be getting a grade for sure anyway who's probably going to be either a gen rare or is going to persona flip Probably a gen rare. Regardless, uh, with the new set, Numas will probably get another stride, and as a result, you probably don't need to run Sukumura Khan or Toggle Lord in your extra deck moving forward. So honestly, I wouldn't even bother picking them up. Like, if you want a good gen rare, just play the one from Fire's Collection. It's cheap now. And yeah, let's see. I think I did a search for it. Yep. So Toggle Lord. There's an auction going on for SP, but that's not going to stay where it is forever. And there's a th one for $36, and then they're, they're all like 50 uh, Have any of these actually sold? No, I'm not going to actually see if they've been sold or not. Because again, I don't think the card's really worth picking up. Next up, OTTs. So they are going to be in the new set, Dragon Emperor's Awakening. It's going to be our winter set. And I'm just going to say now, if you've been thinking about picking up this deck and you've been waiting for stuff to go down, this is your chance to do that, as they're only going to go up. Like, Kamu Suzano is going to go up, Suzano is going to go up, Amaterasu will probably go up. Like, everything I see is probably going to go up, and, like, right now they're cheap, so now would be your chance to do it. Like, what are the Battle Sisters at? Alright, hello, let's see. Yeah, is this the Stripe Bear? Yeah. So, like, these are all fairly inexpensive. And they said they're going to be supporting Battle Sisters in the new set. So, here's your chance to grab them. You should probably do so. Next up, we have Shar. I'm taking a quick peek at Charlotte Vampire because. Darker Relicers, I feel, are low-key really good coming out of the new set. Breadamouth is a pretty solid card, 
And they've already got two DOPs in the OCG following the set release. Both Darkness and Blade Wings managed to get tops. And I should actually do a quick peek for Blade Wings in a sec, but yeah, we'll be looking at Charlotte Vampire. But more, moreover, a car one of my friends suggests I look at is this guy, Great Demon Solus Demiogoga. This guy is, for some reason, 12 to $20. What the hell? I don't understand this one. Uh, granted, I'm not a DI player, so I don't know what's going on at all when it comes to this clan, but why is this guy so much? Like, I just... I Okay, so during your main phase, when the card is put to your soul, he buffs everything in your front row by a thousand power. I don't think the decks... No, they, I just... Hmm. I'm just trying to think. Like, I don't think I've ever seen them actually play this guy. And I've... Granted, I haven't watched very many DI decks in action, at least from the Japanese channels I've been, like, checking out. But their first stride seems to be some rare, I think, that flips or something else. I don't know. I was like, this just seems like a completely random buyout or along the lines. And he's also pretty expensive on eBay. Yeah, he's 18 and 15. I, I D G I. I don't, I just don't get it. All right, uh, quick look for Charlotte Vampire. See where he's at. Seventeen, four hundred dollars for the full deck. Three hundred dollars for a nearly foil deck. Fifteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so you can get him a bit cheaper on eBay. Now let's take a quick peek at the Blade Wings. Oh, is it Sullivan? I'm trying to remember their names. I yeah. Okay, Blade Wing Sullivan. So this guy. Yep, he's up. And this one does not surprise me at all. Blade Wings are arguably the best DI deck in the format. It is a bit crappy, though, that this guy is this much. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's why, that's why. I'm looking up the wrong price. This guy has him at $15. These guys have him at 3 Never mind, I can't read. I should have known. And looking for him on eBay, $3, $3. One random Japanese listing for twelve dollars, but three dollars. So, Blade Wings are still cheap, and they're they've been widely considered to be the best DI deck in the game. So, there you go. All right, moving on. I'm going to take a moment to talk about Naru's because they're in the new set. Bush Bros say they're going to be supporting Thunderstrike and Vanquishers getting a reprint as an alt art, and that this tells me that he's going to be getting almost every one of his forms as an SP in the SP pack. So all of the SPs will get another reprint. So I just want to take a quick peek at him. Let's see. Full art SP is 33 to 40. Original SP is 30. Voltage SP is 23. Original triple R is 20. New SP is 15. BMAX is secret rare is $11. Now, if you haven't grabbed one of these yet, now will probably be a chance to do so. I don't think it's going to get that much lower. And it's a one-of in just about anything that runs voltages in the extra deck. Plus, Closer Dragon kind of sets this thing up now. Like, If you're able to get to Generation Break 8, there is no reason that you will not be at Thunderstrike 5 going into your following turn. Like Again, you'll probably be at Thunderstrike 20 or higher. And looking at the prices, VMAX's Gener Secret Rare is... Not that much higher than that of the original Gen Rare. And then Voltage, he's... Don't let this price fool you. It's just it's just last save point being last save point. The actual price for Voltage is considered to be cheaper. If I look for him on eBay, you'll find that... Yep. 16 for the SP. 7, 4, 6 for this VMAX. 7, 8. So the Vanquisher Strides... Are all pretty cheap to pick up. It's just Vanquisher himself has definitely gotten very expensive. So the alternate art reprint will fix that. And the alternate art is going to be $6. I can assure you that. Because even though this Vanquisher may end up being better than whatever the new one is. You look at Night Rose's reprint in Rumi Labyrinth. And how good she is. Thing is busted. Thing is also very, very cheap. And we'll look at her in a bit but. First things first, I want to take a look at Drag Wizard Morphessa because she got a buyout recently. Surprise, surprise, Shadow Paladins being hyped. Like, when Shadows get hyped, they get expensive. It, it's just always been a thing. And Morphessa, unfortunately, went back up to the near $40 mark, and I don't think that's changing anytime soon. 
Everything else is kind of where it is. Although drag driver Luard's dropped down to 15. Holy shit. I say that... Oh. Oh, wait. No, that's just him being him. Yeah, you got... Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, no, he's 22. I think this card's actually worth picking up. Because you just know that the new Luar that is a genre in the set is probably going to have some interaction with Luar in the G zone. So you may actually have to be forced to play multiple copies of Drag Driver Luar in the Ritual deck moving forward. So that's just something to keep in the back of your mind. And lastly, we're just going to take a... Well, no, before I look at that, Rose, I'm going to take a quick peek at Fighter's Collection. As prices started to go down, this is where I expected things to be. Everything that's not the big three is under, well, really, it's under $10. Like, Beyond Order, 13 as it should be. Like, I honestly don't think Beyond Order is that great in Time Leap, which is, like, the deck that you'd be thinking about when it comes to these things. But I'm sure in ZTB, it's not a bad card. Altwalder and Galleon are where they're at. Like, if you've been waiting to grab cards from Fire's Collection, now's your chance to get singles, because I don't think... I think these guys are going to stay where they're at. These cards may go down. And Roka Shiron here is a good alternative genre finisher for Nubas until we get new Sharanoi. And uh, Palace Athena, I just want to take a quick point out because I think Genesis can get through pretty quickly too. Blazing Burst, he's going to be relevant pretty soon because of Kagro, or rather Blade Master. And uh, Mr. Closer Dragon, of course, is pretty strong. So, that being said, just took a Quick beat, uh, Night Rose. I just want to see where she is at. So Ruby Labyrinth Rare is 146, SP 75, new SP 46. Phantasm is still pretty up there. Still up there. Let's see. Original Phantasm is 15. Heart Stamp. Uh, and there we go. Yeah. Four dollars. This is where I see Vanquisher's Alt Art reprint being at. So. That's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, if you have any suggestions for me to look at for another Market Watch, please comment down below and I will look at them. And if they really are something outlandishly crazy like Mr. Demiog, then I will, in fact, take a look at it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Until next time, this is Boostar89, jacking out.